is an individual who, who refuses to live in the dark. They refuse to remain in obscurity. When you get tired of being coined the loser, being coined not enough, being overlooked and undervalued and underpaid, you gotta get tired of that. When you get tired, that's when you win. You gotta smell blood. Once you get that scent like a hound dog, you see what is possible, you see what you are capable of. In the face of adversity, in the face of challenges, in the face of everybody that says you are not enough, you're not tall enough, you're not big enough, you're not wide enough, you're not fast enough, it's in that very moment that the dreams gotta get bigger than the disappointment, than the fear, than the anxiety, than the stress, than the overwhelm. It's gotta get bigger, the dream. Once that dream gets bigger and you get a scent for that dream, you start to smell that dream. There's nothing on planet Earth that can stop you. You become armed and dangerous. You are the most dangerous individual on planet Earth. The underdog is just a man or a woman who has made up their mind. They are no longer going to live in their setbacks. They are no longer going to live in your reality. Your reality of me says I'm not enough. Your reality of me says, I can't do this. Your reality of me says, you won't finish today. My reality says, all I have is all I need. I'm not living in my setback any longer. I'm moving forward. When you doubt the underdog, it's like music to his ears. Tell me I'm not good enough. Tell me I'm not strong enough. Tell me I won't finish. There is this intrinsic emotion, this instinct. You have just awakened the lion in me. And so an underdog is just somebody who refused to live in the setback. It is a person who rebels against your reality. Your reality of me is that I'm not enough. Your reality of me is that I'm not qualified. Your reality of me is that I'm not quick enough. I'm not fast enough. I'm not tall enough. I'm not linear enough. This is your reality. My reality of me is that all I have is all I need. I'm coming after everything you said I couldn't have. This is the day you make up in your mind where I will take the throne. This is what I've been working hard for. 
and I can't believe I just made my dreams come true. When did you realize, Andy, that you could take his power? You took that big shot, but you kept moving forward. Just like against Dimitrenko, you kept moving forward. Because of the Mexican warrior that I am, I got that Mexican blood in me. So, talking about the Mexican style, I just proved it. I just made history, baby, for Mexico. You are the first Mexican-American heavyweight champion. What does that mean to you? It means everything, man. This is what I've been dreaming about since I was six years old. If it wasn't for my dad, I wouldn't be here. Listen, yo, let me say. Can we have a round of applause for Andy Ruiz, the new heavyweight champion? Listen. Big respect, Andy. Big, big respect. And through the magic of television, joining us now is the new heavyweight champion of the world, Andy Ruiz. I think of uh, all the people showing me love, you know, all the people, all the Mexican people telling me that they're proud of me, that I did something good for, for Mexico, and I think that really touched my heart. Not only for Mexico, you know, and I gotta say this, I think you touched a lot of people, including, including myself, you know, getting that victory the way you did it, you know, a lot of people doubted you. The only person that believed in you was yourself. And I think that's the message that you, you are sending clearly to the, to the people out there, not just in boxing in general, all around, you know, that they could really do anything if they put their mind into it in their heart. All odds all were on me. Everybody doubted me. Everybody underestimated me. But as soon as I let my hands go and I got that knockout, um, things changed. Outside of boxing, what's going to change? Um, just helping my family, you know, helping my family, um, my mother, my, my brother. Uh, my sister, my kids, of course, and just remain humble. That, that's the main thing. Remain humble and and be hungry. I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not satisfied of what I want. Like I said, I, I need that WBC belt. Andy Ruiz, he comes in last minute, knocks out Anthony Joshua, becomes the heavyweight champion of the world. First Mexican heavyweight champion of the world. He's a fucking hero. Gets fat as fuck. Balloons up to 280. This is while training for the next fight. Weighs in at 280. Loses the rematch. Knew it was coming. Got rid of his trainer. Had all sorts of fucking problems in camp. Party too much. Knew it was coming. Knew the day was wouldn't, coming. Wouldn't do the work. N wouldn't do the work. Just just was living the lifestyle. Just got too wrapped up in the fact that he was the champ and too wrapped up in partying. And next thing you know, he lost the title. And now you know he he's faced with this very difficult task of trying to get a fight for the title now because he's a dangerous fighter still. But if you beat Joshua the second time, he's a superstar. You know, he's just, he's up there with Tyson Fury. He got cocky. He got, well, whatever it was, man, he got lost in the lifestyle. If you're listening to me right now and you've been an underdog in your relationships, if you've been an underdog in the weight room, if you've been an underdog in life, if you've been an underdog financially, maybe you were misunderstood and you were overlooked and you were undervalued and you were mishandled and misguided. I'm talking to that person that is acquainted with pain. I'm talking to that person that knows what it's like to come from nothing. And so you literally have nothing to lose. And the only thing that's in your hand is a dream. The only thing that's in your head is I have what it takes to get to the top of that hill because I am not the wolf or I am the wolf climbing the hill. I have nothing to lose. You are going to have to push, push, push.
push, 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 because they said you can't do it. They said you don't have what it takes to make the investments. They said you don't have what it takes to lose the weight. They say you don't have what it takes to hang on to your marriage. Everybody has been counting out. Everybody has been doubted. The underdog is not a person who doesn't feel pain, doubt, and fear. The underdog is a person that turns that pain, that doubt, that fear into their fuel. Your story is not your fortress. Your story is your fuel. If you came from a place where you had nothing, that's everything that you need. Nine times out of 10, the underdog always comes out with the win because the underdog is more hungry. The wolf that is on the hill is never as hungry as the wolf that is climbing the hill. The underdog is still trying to prove himself. The underdog is still trying to tell the world, I can do this.